911, what's the nature of your emergency? Welcome back to another episode of Tactical Living by Leo Warriors. I'm your host, Ashley Walton. And I'm your co-host, Clint Walton. For today's episode, we're going to talk about why having a mentor does not make you weak and how I believe it's one of the only ways that you can allow yourself to be pushed. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy today's content. Baby, help me reflect a little bit on this time last year, where we were at, and how our stubbornness really prevented us from doing anything that we could excel in. It goes into a lot for me and you both is we have this mindset that we created for ourselves of I can't do that because of And we're just giving ourselves excuses of why we can't do something instead of finding routes of actually doing it. That goes down, especially to my weight loss journey where I've now lost over 75 pounds. I'm probably in the best shape I've been in in my entire life. And I feel closer to you than I ever have. It's crazy for me because I'm incredibly analytical. I can sit and I can read for an entire weekend, no problem. But I got to this point to where there were things that I allowed myself to dive into that a simple YouTube or Google search just wasn't cutting it with. Let's use this podcast, for example. I had no idea how to start a podcast. You can Google it. There's this podcastacademy.com. There's all kinds of resources out there on how to do it. I haven't found anything that takes you from the mentality essence of it, including the tactical elements that are required to even produce your first episode. I got to the point to where I didn't even know if this was something that I wanted to dive into at all. I started to tell myself all the stories. It was going to be too difficult. It required too much equipment. I've never had to edit any kind of audio in my life. I'm a singer. Why don't I just sing something? If I'm going to put forth all the effort, I might as well produce some some of my own vocals and learn how to edit that instead of a podcast. All these things came up for me about reasons why I couldn't do something. And it all changed because I allowed myself to become a part of a group. That group was a bunch of people that were all doing the same thing as me and that we're all starting at the base point. We were all at step zero. None of us had any experience apart from listening to podcasts. None of us really knew what we wanted our vision to be, our message to be, our story. We didn't even know what we wanted the title of our podcast to be. This group was facilitated by somebody who stepped away and that created this high level of discouragement among all of us. We continued meeting as a team and what we found was that we still had that desire to do this. We all knew that it was possible because anybody that we look up to that has a podcast had to have started from somewhere. We were fortunate enough to have somebody take us up almost as a mentor and help to pave the path for us. He helped to create the structure for this podcast. He helped to delegate and tell us all what to do. And most importantly, he showed us how to do it. Hopped on Zoom calls, endless Facebook messages back and forth group chats and the WhatsApp, like we had a a completely inclusive form of conversation that was open to where we can all learn from the questions that we each had. And I didn't even know how to edit my own podcast. I didn't know how to put my own intro into my podcast. 
It didn't take long for us to figure out how to record. But recording is the easy part. It's everything that goes into the back end of it that really scared the shit out of me. I don't want to put something incorrect. I don't want to upload my own podcast because I don't want to mess something up. I'm fearful of doing it wrong. I don't want to sound stupid. I don't want to make myself or anyone else feel belittled in any way. There's these constant stories where this negative chatter started. And that didn't stop until I was able to find somebody to mentor me to get my headspace right. To say, Ashley, like, this is super simple. You can do it. You're not alone. I'm going to help you. And he really helped to instill in me that the only reason that this was so scary was because it's something I've never done before. By taking a step back and understanding that everybody starts somewhere and knowing that, okay, well, if all these other people can do it, I sure as hell have a high enough, high enough level of intellect to be able to figure out how to do this too. But the best resource was for me to have some one-on-one time with somebody who's done it before. Someone who's had all those mess ups. Somebody who's had all that self-doubt themselves. And somebody who could reassure me that it wasn't going to be as difficult as the stories that I was making up in my own mind to believe it to be. And now I love it. I think it's fun (laughs) sitting here. (laughs) It's on a Saturday morning. Clint and I are getting to share this time and space with you. And we're truly honored for that. We're honored that you took the 10, 15 minutes out of your day, maybe as you drive to work, maybe as you're sipping coffee, maybe you're in the kitchen cooking breakfast, wherever it is that you consume this content, know that your space is completely filled with the love and honor and appreciation that we're sending straight to you from this microphone. And we've had a lot of positive feedback. We've had a lot of people tell us that by sharing our messages, our stories, experiences, things are resonating with them. And that resignation and those voices back to us from the other end of the microphone are what gets us excited to keep doing this. And if it wasn't for that mentor, if it wasn't for somebody to not only kick me in the ass, but to kind of push me forward a little bit and to reach their hand down while I was looking up and knowing that I'm not doing this by myself. I don't have to just rely on this dark end of technology every time I Google something. Like there's an actual living body that could help me, somebody with positive influence, then it made it all okay and it made it all comfortable. And we're allowed to share this platform now and experience something completely new just based on getting over yourself. Like getting over myself was really what I had to do. It's one thing when you're going through scholastic studies, and I think that's what I was so used to, was being reliant on myself and knowing that nobody else was there to help me and supporting me through my journey of my formal education. I'm sure that's where a lot of it stems from. But in allowing myself to understand that I don't have all the answers and I don't have to be the one to dig through all of the answers on my own, And then recognizing that a significant amount of those answers that I was seeking weren't readily available through a Google search. I needed that human connection to be able to guide me. I needed something real. I needed something more than just technology in order to help me through something I was struggling with. And maybe as you sit there, you can think of something in your own life that you really need that support in order to accomplish. Maybe it's something like starting a new hobby. Do you know anybody who's done that hobby before? Maybe you want to build something. Is there anyone you can reach out to who you've never talked to before, but that you've been paying attention to 
who's done that already? What would life look like for you if you connected with that person and you were able to reach out and let them know that you needed help? The worst thing that can happen, I think, is they might charge you a little bit of money. For the most part, anybody that I continue to reach out for to ask simple questions that I receive answers to that allow me to take those first steps, people don't charge for that. People love to to help other people. I would encourage you to just reach out. Try it. Try something new. Because an incredible thing happens when you open yourself up with such vulnerability. And the gifts that you receive on the back end from that are the excitement that other people have in you sharing a similar interest to them. And when you're able to lean into that, and you're able to allow yourself to finally do something that you've always thought maybe one day you'll try, then you're able to understand that that one day could be now. And that excitement, that newfound experience, all those thoughts that start fluttering through your mind of the what ifs, what could be, are what starts to allow you to be excited to do something new every day. And when you're excited for that newness and you're excited to give something back and create something new and to show your uniqueness and express yourself in a way that you always wished that you could, then you're really able to enjoy your tactical living.